Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ricardo and as you see I have moved to a new apartment But that's not the topic of today's video. The sunset looks really nice right now So I want to go show you guys the summer garden, which is one of my favorite spots here in st. Petersburg I hope it's open. It's Monday. So yeah, I think we should head out before the Sun goes down. Let's go If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you might remember this little monument, so this is another angle of it. You can watch that in this video over here when I went paddle boarding, and I actually got to touch the little bird. So, the story is that if you get a coin on it from above, then it's good luck. So it's full of coins down there. We've made it to the Summer Garden. This is one of my favorite spots in all of downtown St. Petersburg. It is right across the river from the Summer Palace of Peter the Great. I did record this video in the fall, so you're going to see a lot of fall colors in the trees and the leaves. The design of the garden itself goes way back to the 1700s when Russia was fighting Sweden in the Great Northern War. Apparently Tsar Peter himself designed this park with the help of a Dutch gardener, and then he also had another Dutch gardener and a French architect come and help him later on. So the influence of this park is Dutch and French. Something that I've noticed here in Russia and that I personally really like is that in public spaces and gardens, people aren't loud, or really anywhere, you don't hear people talking loudly. Uh, occasionally, you'll hear children screaming or playing around. That's something that I've noticed here in Russia that I haven't noticed in many other places.
All right, well, I'm gonna end the video here. I didn't quite make it to sunset, but hopefully I got some good shots of the park. Um, it was a short one then, so I'll see you next time.